click on file and then go down to open scene and let's open up lego.ma All right, so here I have a character that's already been modeled, and this is the character from the Lego movie, Emmett. And so what we want to do in this tutorial is set up some basic textures in Sketchbook Pro and then bring them into Maya. Now, before we do that, I want to just get this basic shape exported from Maya so that we have something to reference when we're drawing the front of his shirt. So I'm going to go to Window, and then I'll go to UV Texture Editor. I'm just going to resize this a little bit. I'll click on this object right here. And I'm going to go to Create UVs, and I'll go down to Automatic Mapping. All right, so here we have the UVs laid out. And I'm actually only concerned with the front of his shirt. So I'm going to take these UV shells here. I'll select them. So you right click, go to UV. I'm going to right click again and go to Select and then go to select shell. I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'll select these two pieces. Uh, I'll right click, go to select, and then select shell. I'll move these out of the way. And then I'm trying to figure out which one is the front here. It's this piece right here. Actually, it doesn't really matter which one we use. But I'll just take this piece, move this out of the way. I'll take this piece right here. I'm going to rotate it. Make sure this is the actual piece that I want. I'll go to UVs here. I'm going to scale this up a little bit. Now let's move it over to here. Go to object mode. And from here, I'm going to export just this one section right here. So I'll go to Polygons, UV Snapshot, and I'm going to leave it at the size at 2048. Leave my image format at TIFF, and then we're going to call this Emmet underscore out UV. So I'll hit OK. And then I'm going to just open up Sketchbook Pro. Okay, so from here I'm going to go to File, and then I'll go to Open, and I'm going to click on Documents, I'll go to Maya Projects, and then I'll go to Maya Unit 7 Project Folder, and then I'll go to Images, and I'll select Emmet underscore out UV dot TIFF. So I'll just hit Open right here, and if I look at this file, it looks like there's nothing here. But the UV lines are actually here. We just can't see them because by default, Sketchbook Pro has the background layer as white. So go over here to your background layer and let's go to rename. And I'm just going to call this UVs. And then I'm going to create a new layer. And I'll call this background. And I'm going to take the background layer and drag it below the UV layer. All right, so the color for Emmet is an orange color, so I'm going to just take my color and I'll change it over here to kind of a vibrant orange. And then I'll take my flood fill and just fill in the background layer. So now you can see here are those UV lines that we couldn't see before. And if you zoom in, they become a little bit more visible. All right, so from here, what I want to do is I want to go to, I want to add a new layer. And right here, I'm going to rename this layer to, I'll just call this detail. And now I'm going to just switch to um, a gray color. Maybe go a little bit lighter here on this gray. And I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'll resize the brush, and I want to paint in some lines here. I'm going to make my, sure my brush size is pretty large, and I want to paint in some horizontal lines going across. And that's a little bit too thick, so I'm going to resize my brush a little bit here. I'll paint in lines like this holding down the shift key to draw straight lines and then I'll paint in 
line here and a line right here. Like so. Okay. So now I'm going to take my eraser and I'm just going to erase. Let me resize it a little bit here. I'm going to erase the edges here. And right up at the top here, I'll erase this as well. All right, so from here, I'm going to create another layer. So let's call this fine detail. And I'm going to just go to black, choose my color and set it to black. And I'm going to make sure my brush is a lot smaller here. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and just draw a line straight down the middle right here. Take my line tool and I'm going to go up at kind of an angle. And I'm just going to draw in the part of his shirt right here. And then at the top here, I'll draw in another line. And then I'm going to switch to my free line. I'll zoom in here a little bit. And I'm just going to draw in um, a V shape here. And then he's got kind of like a collar like this. And then this is like a button down shirt right here. And there's like a little wrinkle right here on his shirt. Make all that a little bit nicer. OK. So now we're going to choose some different colors here. I'm going to find a nice kind of medium blue. And I'll take my flood fill tool and we're going to fill in his shirt with this blue color. And then we'll just switch to white. And he's got an undershirt on underneath that. And it's just filled in with white right there. OK. So now I'm going to go back to my black color. I'll take my paintbrush. And we need to put in some pockets on his vest here. So I'm going to draw in one pocket on this side. The top line is going to be slightly shorter than the bottom line. And I'll just connect these. Do the same thing over here. Bottom line is going to be slightly longer. Okay, and then he's got a pen in this jacket pocket right here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then there's a line coming down for that pen. Okay, so now um, there's a little bit of blue color here. I'm going to go to the first detail layer. And I'm going to option click on this blue up here on his shirt. And then I'm going to paint this in. So there's like a little cap or a little clicker at the top of his pen here. And then we'll paint this in right here. OK. So his shirt actually gets cut off towards the top here. So we're going to erase part of it. So I'm going to take my selection tool and just drag down to right about here. And then actually, let's go to the fine detail layer and then delete that. And then um, this line on his shirt needs to also be deleted right here. OK, so we're done with his vest and his shirt. So now we need to draw in the belt. And I didn't export the UVs on the belt, but the belt is pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is take my um, my square or rectangle tool, go down to black, 
and I'm just going to draw in a rectangular shape for his belt right here. All right, and then I'll take my flood fill and I'll fill this in. And then I'm going to take the eraser. I'll resize the eraser a little bit. And I'm just going to erase sections. So I'm going to line up kind of with the UVs here as a guideline. So I'm just going to erase a section right here and over here. Actually, I want to go a little bit further out. Okay. And then I'll erase another section right about here. But I'm going to take two lines out here, one kind of on either side. And then in the middle here, we need to grab this gray color again. So let me take my paintbrush, hold down the Option key, and sample this gray. And I'll take the uh, re the uh, rectangle tool and draw in an, a, bu a buckle right here. And then I'll take the flood fill, fill that in. And let me just trace over this line here. Okay, so I'm going to go to black, and he's got like a little circular buckle right here. All right. Okay. So now we need to do his badge. So let's take our rectangle tool, and we'll just draw in a, a badge shape right here. Okay, and I'll take my line, or just my free line here, and I'm just going to draw in. He's got, actually, let's go back to the rectangle. There's a second rectangle in here that we want. Oops. Now I'll go to the line tool, and we'll draw in some lines here for this is text right here. And then we got to zoom in here for the, the the picture on his ID, which is pretty funny because it's just a blank face. Okay. So let me go back to my free line here. Okay, let me just erase a little bit here. And it looks like up here I can make a little correction. So I'll go back to my paintbrush here. Okay, so on his badge here, we're going to fill in certain areas with black. So I'm going to take my flood fill, fill in this with black, and fill in this area with black. All right, then um, this area in here is going to be gray. And then we need to add the text with his name on it right here. So I'm going to create a text layer. And I'll go to fonts. And you can always expand this window out if you need to. And we're going to go to Arial Black. Hit OK. Oops, let's try that again. Let me delete that. Click on fonts. Arial Black, and we click up here, type in Emmet, and then let's see if we can change the font color here. Okay, so here's our text right here. Just drag it over, scale it up. Okay. 
Actually, that should be a little bit smaller. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the fine detail layer here. And I'm going to take my selection tool and just move this down a little bit. We've got a little bit more here. Oops. Let's see. Let's go to our text layer here and rasterize it. And then let's merge it down. So I'm move this down a little bit here. Okay. So we've got two shapes here. We kind of connect the badge here. So let's just draw this in with our shift key. Okay, so this first section is black, and then this section right here is gray. So that's his badge. Last thing we need to do is create, um, he's got kind of like these reflectors on his legs. So I'm just going to create a gray strip here, and then I'm going to fill that in with gray. All right. So we have everything we need for um, Emmett's body, and then we'll have one more image for his head. So let's go ahead and save this Emmett out uv.tiff. I'm just going to hit save. So we've saved all of our layers here. So now I want to save out individual pieces of this. So I'm going to turn off the visibility on the UV layer, and then I'm going to select the shirt area right here. And I'm going to go to image and then crop to selection. So here we're going to save out just his shirt right here. So I'm going to go to file, save as, and instead of saving it to images, we're going to go to the unit seven project folder and then go to source images, we'll change our format to JPEG. And up here, we're just going to call this Emmett, oops, Emmett shirt. Okay, for this image format, all layers will be merged. That's fine. All right, so now I want to go back to my previous file. So I'm just going to hit Command Z. Okay, and now I'm going to save out just the belt. So I'll take my crop tool right here. I'm just going to crop this belt out. So I go to File, Save As, change it to a JPEG, and this is going to be Emmett. belt. Hit OK. I'll hit Command Z to go back. And this time I'm going to save out the badge. So let's start down here and go up to here. Crop that out. File Save As. Change it to JPEG. And this is going to be Emmett badge. Okay, I'm going to hit Command Z. And last thing is, is the leg piece. So actually, let's see, I'm going to zoom in here and let's save just the gray. Okay, so I'll go to File, Save As. We'll call this Pants. I'll make sure I'm a JPEG and I'll hit save. All right, I'm going to hit Command Z and we're back to our original out UVs. So from here, I want to save out a couple of different colors. Okay, so I want to save out this orange color because what we're going to do is we're going to project this onto our model and we want just a flat orange color so that we can apply that to the rest of the model. So I'm going to turn off the visibility on everything except for the background layer. I'll hit File, Save As, and this is going to be Emmett 
orange. And I'll save a JPEG. Okay. And now I'm going to turn the shirt uh, on and I'm going to sample. Let's see here. I'll hold down the option key. I'm going to sample this blue color. I'll go to the background layer. I'll fill in that layer with blue. I'll turn off the layer on the fine detail. I'll go to File, Save As. And this is going to be Emmet Blue. Okay. So the last thing we need to do is we need to um, paint his face. So I'm going to just change my color here to a yellow color. Fill it in with yellow here. And we'll save this. Save as. I'm going to call this Emmet Yellow. And we'll save it as a JPEG. All right, now we're going to draw his face on this uh, layer right here. Let's add a new layer, actually. OK. So let's take our paintbrush here. And let's draw in. We just need a dot for each of his eyes. I'm pressing twice so I have a um, a dark enough black color here. I'm going to go ahead and um, take my ellipse tool. And the reason I'm doing that is because if you look at the shapes on his face, they're pretty, um, they look like they're stenciled on. So I'm going to resize my brush here. And I'm going to draw in a little smile here. I'll move this up. Let's see here. Actually, move it down a little bit. I'll just connect these lines here. Make this a little bit smaller, and we'll add in a little bit of detail on the sides here. All right, and then let's fill. He's going to have white teeth. So I'll change our color to white, and take my flood fill and fill that in. All right, so let's go to File and then Save As. And let's save this as a JPEG. And this is going to be Emmet Face. And I'll hit OK. All right, so let's go ahead and save this whole TIFF file here. So I'm going to save as and we'll save it as a tiff and this is going to be let's call this all layers okay save that okay i'm going to quit sketchbook pro and now we're back in Maya here. I can close my UV texture editor. And let's go to window rendering editors and then hypershade. And I'm going to create a whole bunch of new fongs. Double click on Fong 1. I'm going to call this Orange Mat. And we'll map on a file 
and that file is going to be emmetorange.jpg. All right, I'm going to create another fong. I'll name this to yellow mat, and we'll map on a file here. Let's see. Uh, let's add and it yellow. Let's reload that. It's not showing up here, but it should be working here. Um, yeah, that's fine. So let's create another fong. I'll just call this blue mat. We'll map on a color here. Click on File. OK. OK. New Fong. Call this Shirt Mat. And we'll map on the shirt texture here. Okay, and a new fong. And let's see here. This is going to be. Let's do the badge. And let me double click on this and rename it here. Badge map. All right, new fong. Let's call this belt mat and we'll map on a file here belt new fong and this is going to be pants and i think this is the last one okay all right. All right, so now the fun part. Let's add all this stuff on here. So I'm going to take the orange material and drag it onto his shirt. Now it's not showing up, so I'm going to press 6 on the keyboard. And I'm going to drag it onto the pants, each pants leg here. And then I don't think, oh, here's our blue material. So we'll do the blue material on the arms. And then where's our yellow material? Yellow material goes onto the hands and the head. And I forgot a material for his hair. So one more fong. And we'll call this hair underscore mat. And actually, we don't need to map a material. We can just change the color on this. So we go to orange and then go pretty dark on this. Something like that. We'll take that, drag it onto his hair. All right. So now let's see. We'll start with his face here. We hit F to frame it. Oops. I hit Q for my selection tool so I don't accidentally move anything again. I'm going to select the faces on the front here. So you can see I'll hit 4. I've got some faces on the front and some faces on the back. I don't want the faces on the back, so I'm going to hold down Control and unselect those. I'll hit 6. And now. Let's see, did I create a material for the face? Lambert orange pants badge. No, I did not. I thought I was done. OK, so let's create a new fong. And we'll call this face mat. And it face. All right, I'm going to have to select these faces again. 
select the faces for the face. That's not confusing. All right, let's um, control unselect. I'm going to hit four so I can make sure I just have those faces in the front selected. All right, and I'm going to hit six. And I'll take the face material and drag it onto the selection right here. I don't see anything, but that's okay. I'm going to go to create UVs and then I'll go to planar mapping. I'll choose best plane and hit apply. All right, so there's the face. There's a little bit of rotation here that I do not need. I don't know why it gave me that, but I'll just hit zero on all those. And I'll straighten it out. And let me hit let me just scale this up a little bit and then I'll move it down. And there we have Emmett's face on the object. All right, let's switch to his uh, chest here. I'm going to select all of these faces here. Hit four, make sure I have just the faces in the front selected. I'll hit six. I'm going to hit shift period to increase my selection. And let's take our shirt mat, middle mouse click, drag on to our selection here. And let's go best plane and hit apply. I'm going to change all the rotation to zero here. And scale this up a little bit here if I can. Close this. So I'm kind of moving this up a little bit. Okay, there we have the front of his vest. All right, so let's go to the uh, top of his pants here. Let's frame this object. And I'm going to select all these faces here. I'll hit shift period to increase my selection. Click the belt material, drag it on. And then I'm going to go to create UVs, planar mapping. And I'll change all the rotations to zero. And I'm going to scale this way down. And then we just need to move this that it fits. Scale it out a little bit here. Okay. All right, next, the badge on his leg here. I'm going to select maybe six faces kind of in the center right here. I'll hit Shift and the period button to increase my selection size here. All right. Now I'm going to take the badge and drag it onto the selected faces here. I'll go to create UVs, planar mapping. And change the rotation on all of this stuff to zero. And then I can scale this out a little bit. Uh, move it over. All right. Okay. I'll right click, go to face. So from here, I'm going to go to my selection tool. Actually, I'm going to go to my move tool here and I'm going to 
click on common selection options. I'm going to go to drag right here. And then I'm just going to paint the faces that I want to select here. So I'm going to hit four so you can see. the faces here that I have selected. So from here, I'll bring my hypershade back up and I'm going to take the pants material and drag it on here. And I'm going to need to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to go to object mode here. Go to face, and I'm going to paint, select all this stuff here. And then I'm going to hold down control and unselect this stuff up here. I'll hit four. I'll just check my selection here. It looks okay. I'll hit six. Take the pants material, drag it on. All right, I'm going to go to object mode here. And here we have a finished version of Emmett from Lego Movie. So go ahead and make a render of this file and send me the render so that you get credit for this exercise. All right, that's the end of unit seven. In the next unit, we'll start working on animation in Maya.